President Trump's pick to lead the CIA defended the agency's enhanced interrogation of terrorism suspects after 9-11. Gina Haspel faced tough questions from Senate Intelligence Committee members Wednesday. During the hearing, she pledged not to bring back the program. If confirmed, she would be the CIA's first female director. Here's Jeff Pegues. Even before the opening statements, it was clear Gina Haspel would face a tough hearing. Haspel tried to keep the focus on her three-decade career at the CIA, some of it spent undercover. I excelled in finding and acquiring secret information that I obtained in brush passes, dead drops, or in meetings in dusty alleys of third world capitals. But it was her role in the post-9-11 enhanced interrogation program that has her that nomination the in question. The very important thing to know about CIA is we follow the law. We followed the law then and we follow the law now. Haspel served at a so-called CIA black site where top-level al-Qaeda prisoners were subjected to harsh interrogation techniques like waterboarding, which simulates drowning. Those methods are now banned, but during the presidential campaign, candidate Trump advocated for their use. Torture works, okay, folks? Torture, don't, you know, have these guys. Torture doesn't work. Believe me, it works, okay? If this president asks you to do something that you find morally objection objectionable, will you carry that out, that option, and that order or not? Senator, that would be. my moral compass is strong. I would not allow CIA to undertake activity that I thought was immoral even if it was technically legal. Haspel was also questioned about a memo she helped author that ordered the destruction of 92 video recordings of the interrogations. She said it was her boss who gave the final order. No, I never watched the tapes, no, but I understood but that our officers' faces were on them and that that was very dangerous at a time when there were unauthorized disclosures that were exposing the program. CBS News Justice and Homeland Security correspondent Jeff Pegues is on Capitol Hill. Jeff, what were the biggest takeaways from Wednesday's Senate committee hearing? Well, I think we expected Democrats, at least some of them, to grill her, and that's what happened here. They grilled her over her role in the CIA's en enhanced interrogation program. They, they grilled her in her role in the destruction of those tapes showing the enhanced interrogation program. So, uh, yes, we expected that coming in, but uh, the intensity of uh, the questioning uh, was notable today, but she seems to have, have done well here. Uh, there are some Democrats indicating that they will support her nomination, namely West Virginia's Joe Manchin. Well, in your piece, we heard Senator Kamala Harris push Haspel on her views of previous interrogation methods. Let's listen to a bit more of her questioning. The president has asserted that torture works. Do you agree with that statement? Senator, I... I I don't believe that torture works. I believe uh, that in the CIA's program, and, and I'm not attributing this to enhanced interrogation techniques, I believe, as many people, directors who have sat in this chair before me, that valuable information was obtained from senior al-Qaeda operatives that allowed us to defend this country and prevent another attack. Is that a yes? No, it's not a yes. We got valuable information from debriefing of Al Qaeda detainees, and I don't, I don't think it's knowable whether uh, interrogation techniques played a role in that. Were senators satisfied with Haspel's answers? I don't think Senator Harris was, and obviously there were other Democratic senators there today who were trying to uh, really get uh, the CIA director nominee to answer with a yes or no answer. You didn't hear it there. Uh, and so there are undoubtedly some senators who left that hearing today. They were not satisfied with her answers. Didn't feel like they, that she was being as transparent uh, as she could be in this process. In fact, uh, they've been critical of the CIA as well for not being as transparent and not revealing more about some of the operations that she was involved in during her three-decade career at the CIA. Well, Jeff, you mentioned Democratic Senator Joe Manchin says he will vote for Haspel. What are you hearing about her overall chances of getting confirmed? 
Well, it looks like her chances improved after that hearing. Not only do you have uh, Joe Manchin uh, confirming that he will be a yes vote, but you also have Susan Collins, Republican from Maine, uh, who seemed to be on the fence. Now she is a yes vote. So the chances of Haspel making it out of the committee uh, greatly improved after her performance today. All right. Jeff Pegues on Capitol Hill. Jeff, thank you. My pleasure.